Hey guys, James here, and Phoenix vs. Raven, that sure is an announcement. Is that good or bad? I'm leaning to the myth. I don't care about this matchup, and unlike the last couple, I am not alone in this for once. Or like, every episode before this, outside of Anthem, everyone was excited but me. So now I will not be alone with not giving a shit about this matchup. I will say, uh, Phoenix vs. Raven, not a bad matchup. It has decent enough connections, which I'll get to later. It probably will have a cool fight. I just don't really care. Raven is our second returner this year, with her first episode being in Season 5 against Twilight Sparkle. An unpopular opinion, but I actually think that episode is good. I think the episode gets a bit way, like, gets way too much hate, and I've noticed they get a lot more hate with very common same choice of words that are pretty similar to each other. Ever since some certain YouTubers made their opinions on the episode known, I'm. I love this community, but holy shit, can it be an echo chamber? Anyways, uh, and uh, Phoenix first time on the show. This was a matchup I think was actually uh, possible back in Season 5. Like, that, it was on the table, but uh, Ben said that it was a bit too much of a stomp, so they didn't do it. And Exchange did Twilight, because they thought that was fair. Or something along those lines. But, and I, I guess this can't be any further from the truth, because apparently this is very debatable, which, it's a Marvel-DC Herald matchup. You know it's always going to be debatable. But, uh... I'm just going to get straight to the connections. Which, like always, got the little list here. Because I'm not familiar with, uh... uh Phoenix, or Jean Grey. And, uh, Raven, I'm familiar with decent enough with the Teen Titans show that I haven't seen in several years. But I'm familiar with that, at the very least, in some way. But... Extremely powerful, magical bird and fiend superheroes born with psychic abilities who gain their powers from ancient cosmic godly beings who have a history of corrupting them and turning them evil. Though they would ultimately learn to control their abilities and remain one on the side of good, both are notable members of superhero teams and have had close romantic relationships with other superheroes on their teams who are the connective threads for their humanity and has had a child with of their own born through unorthodox ways. Both also have powerful dark forms and white forms. Both also have fought each other in a crossover comic, in crossover comics, I think there's like two, where Raven teamed up with the X-Men to stop Dark Phoenix after uh, it was resurrected by, and resurrected and controlled by Darkseid. So, it, the connections are good. I just, I don't care. Uh, I feel like this matchup would have made more sense to do in Season 5, because I have not seen a single person ever bring this matchup up. I think the last time I've heard anyone just mention Phoenix vs. Raven was that it was possible for Season 8 after... Excuse me. Um... Uh, around the end of Season 7, like, it was brought up as, like, a possible Season 8 matchup. Not a one of, like, people were excited that it was possible, just it's a possibility that could happen. And, uh, two years later, or that's technically free, because that was a bit before Hulk vs. Broly. That many years later, look where we're at now! We got it happening as a Season 10 episode, and I couldn't care. But, what are things that could happen in the fight? <clears throat> this is kind of like a part of what made me delay this episode a bit, just because, like, I don't know these characters. Maybe the fight could start with um, Raven meditating in the dark in darkness. Uh, uh, Jean Grey accidentally stumbles her way in there. Raven thinks it's an enemy or something. Fights fight starts there, they could use their use their beam attacks against each other, and uh, use their force fields. Uh, 
I didn't really do a deep dive in what their abilities are. There was a G1 blog that was made some time ago, but it has since been deleted and or privated, and it's only available for the Wayback Machine. <clears throat> Excuse me. And because it's the Wayback Machine, all the links to like sources of their feats and abilities are kind of dead now. They're dead links, basically. So uh, if I mention a thing, but don't show it like I normally do, uh, that is why, because I can't really access it. If I do find a way to access it, then uh, I'll just show it, and this will this whole the whole section will look stupid. But uh, yeah, uh, <clears throat> magic beams or psychic beams, I guess energy, and I think the psionic beams. It has a specific name for uh, Gene. But that, they could have their force fields to protect. <clears throat> Excuse me. Maybe Raven can use a portal to take the fight elsewhere to somewhere that has more stuff going on, maybe. Maybe a city or forests or... They could kind of like do a bit of a callback to the other two episodes. This one's getting compared to uh, Fate vs. Strange and Wanda vs. Zatanna. Or Zatanna. Kind of do callbacks to that. Uh, maybe go back to the dragon that the end of <clears throat> uh, Strange vs. Fate took place. A magic fight there. Um, they're they 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 can they they're matching each other in power. So Raven decides to burst out Dark Raven. Uh, there's apparently a thing called unkind and kindness for Raven, but it's not standard or something. I don't know. I didn't bother looking into that, but uh, there's that. But Dark Raven, uh, she starts to overpower Jean, so Jean, Jean does the Dark Phoenix. Uh, magic stuff there, magic bo magic beams. Uh, I guess they have reality warping or some shit. <clears throat> so, reality warping, do some of that. Which then leads the fight into that whole multiverse-like area where Scarlet Witch vs. Zatanna took place at the end of its fight. And so, like, yeah, the universe is all there. <clears throat> you could maybe have uh, Jean use, like, her uh, Psychonic Bolt, I think it is. Or, like, kind of messes with Raven's mind. So, Raven, to overpower it, goes um, Dark or White Raven, their white dress thing. And soon after, uh, Jean goes into, like, a very specific name. Uh, White Phoenix of the Crown. Yeah, continue the psychic power. <clears throat> and then, like, near the end of the fight, for, for the animation real quick, I think this most likely going to be sprites, and I hope they go, they go with, like, the... <clears throat> My throat is fucking... He's getting clogged. But, like, sprites, I hope they do kind of go with the, um, more regular-looking sprites they have used before. We know they have a raven sprite. It's still pretty good. Just gotta have the mouth move this time around. And there are good, uh, sprites for Jean that match well with that raven sprite. I know lately they've been using a bit more detailed sprites. Uh, good examples like Stitch, Killua, and Misaka. More so Misaka and Killua. But while these sprites look great, the animation for them hasn't been the best. So I kind of hope they do like what what is already good and do with those ones. <clears throat> but uh, sprites and then soon uh, Raven brings in the Soul Self and it has the sim same hand-drawn animation it had in... Oh, Raven vs. Twilight. I thought that was really fucking cool. I don't see enough people praise that. Just shit on that episode. But that it's really fucking cool. And I hope they do that again. <clears throat> Which, real quick, I don't exactly know how the Phoenix Force works. So this might not make sense. But uh, Jean then like summons the Phoenix Force itself. I think it can fight on its own. I don't know. If it can, uh, another hand-drawn phoenix, like the hand-drawn phoenix, not in the same way as, um, 
as uh, the Soul Self, where the Soul Self kind of looked like scribbled black, like uh, scribbled pencil on there, where the Phoenix has more of an, I guess, elegant. It's a bit more detailed, and, and like you can have the fight mainly start to focus on those on the two birds fighting, but obviously not take away from Raven and Jean. And then uh, to the death, the uh, the Soul Self and the Phoenix collide and maybe form like a yin yang, and then the between Raven and Jean. Excuse me. They both try to start absorbing the other's power, with the winner being able to break through, absorb the energy or life force of the other, <clears throat> as the or like destroy the soul. I don't know. As the winner's bird is able to like consume the others, and then we get an ending shot of our winner, like I guess floating in space with the universes all around it and the bubbles. With the bird, with the winner, bird, the soul self for the phoenix, like kind of striking a bit of a pose behind it. I think that'd be a cool little end shot, depending how it's done. I know that wasn't very coherent, but I don't know these characters well enough to really make that deep of one. I've been checking the death battle wiki for like what they've been showing for Gene. A lot of the respect threads I've been finding for Gene has been the greatest, and I think some of the links are dead. So, fucking whoopsie there. And like I said, the G1 blog, none of the links go to anything right now. So, yeah. And then the debate, because this is really close. <clears throat> we can mention stats, but, like, because, like, the Phoenix Force is one of the, like, one of, if not, well, it's, like, not the strongest, but one of the strongest forces in Marvel. But uh, Raven can scale to some character, I don't remember his name from DC, which would put her on uh, similar terms in stats. So, stats, irrelevant. <laughs> They're most likely just going to be the equivalent of equal stats for this. So it will most likely come down to their overall abilities, which... From what I hear, Raven should... Uh, take the advantage there enough to where she would win. It's not clear cut by any means. It's real debatable. I think that's kind of honestly the most interesting aspect about this matchup is that it's at least debatable. But Raven should uh, kind of has like better overall abilities going for her. Like uh, <clears throat> I don't remember a lot of them. <laughs> But both can, I think both can absorb the other's energy and attack the mind. But Raven can directly attack Jean's soul. And I believe Jean can also do that to Raven, but uh, Jean doesn't have a counter to that. Where Raven's soul has survived being uh, des destroyed or something, or directly attacked. So there's that. Well, any uh, physical attacks from Raven will not work on uh, Phoenix or on Jean, because the Phoenix Force can just uh, regenerate any physical damage or outright just revive her. So, that's kind of a nothing really to do there. So, it will, like, physical attacks will mean nothing against uh, Jean, but Jean kind of lacks the defense defenses that are exactly needed from any of Raven's own, like, soul attacks. I didn't explain this well, but, um, yeah, I'm, I'm betting on Raven. I could see, uh, Gene winning this. It is close. This is not really a well-researched one, but I've been a lot more busy, so, you know, what can you do? But it's close. I could see Gene winning this. I am gonna go with Raven right now, though. Maybe I'll change my bets. Who knows? And for who I'm rooting, I'm obviously rooting Raven. I'm more familiar with Raven. I don't really know anything about Phoenix outside that she had a movie that wasn't well received in the, what, 2019. Where at least I'm familiar with Teen Titans, the original show. To so say, like, I'm I'm gonna root for Raven here. <laughs> also, Raven's cool. I'm, I'm decently excited to learn about Phoenix. Maybe I might end up liking her. 
sort of same similar to with Satana, where I end up just really liking Satana more uh, by the time the episode came out. Uh, yeah, it's debatable. Most I just hear more solid arguments for Raven in the end of, with their abilities. So, uh, yeah, that. And what about the cipher? Well, this apparently it's the it's most likely going to be the Yin Yang. The Phoenix Force is considered to be a Yin Yang with uh, Scarlet Witch's own power. So I'll even show like that comic panel that's been brought up. And then Yin Yang does kind of fit Raven's story. Like she has what are essentially would be an evil person powers since it comes from DC Satan. But she used it for good as well as there being that balance of her trying to balance her emotions since her powers are very emotional based. So trying to balance her emotions so her power doesn't get out of control. But yeah, Yin Yang, which also there was birds in the trailer. I missed that, but it was likely hinting at this matchup. Which a lot of these do shoot shoot down my arguments for Aaron versus Kaneki, which really lame, but it does not Aaron versus Kaneki is not dead in the water because apparently Vader Obito more so fits the Lotus now, or it had a specific name. What was that specific name? Uh uh the fucking Sita Chakra. I think I said that right. Because the Sita part uh, refers to a liberated soul. And then Chakra is a wheel. Also, Chakra kind of goes hand in hand with Naruto. Because, you know, everyone in Naruto has Chakra. Besides Rock Lee and Mike Guy, I think. I don't know. But I'm, I'm dicking this a remote with my other hand. I just stopped. Cause probably will be picked up in the sound. But... That could be the Lotus slash Sita Chakra, whatever the, the fuck. I'm just call it the Lotus because I don't think I'm saying the name right. Which I'm gonna go with that argument because that means Aaron Rusconiki can still be the half circle instead of Vader Obito and does still have the quote backing up the Beast Without But Not Within and Tree because the Tree part doesn't fit Stitch with the Rocket. I've heard people try to argue that it that the Beast Without Beast Without But Not Within fits Stitch with the Rocket, which that does, Tree does not, or at least it does fit Aaron. Which, this does mean we are not, we're probably not getting Splinter Shifu or um, Liu Kang versus Jago this year, which I couldn't care less about <laughs> Liu Kang versus Jago. A little sad that Splinter Shifu might not happen this year though, but if we get Aaron Kaneki, I will be fine with it. If we get another uninteresting matchup, that's going to be a bit lame. But... Whatever, I'm still hoping for Aaron Kaneki. Just like how I'm hoping this episode will, at the very least, be a 7 out of 10. I... This one's been all over the place. I just don't really have any care for this one. And... This season just has not been interesting to me at all. And the episodes, while well, at least season 9, the episode quality was really fucking good. This season, like... Kilo Misaka was like a 6 out of 10. Stitch Rocket was a 5 out of 10. And Vader Obito, I'm kind of bordering between a low 7 and a regular 7. That's still a good episode. I, I still consider that a great episode. It's just not as good as what I'm hoping. The season hasn't really been as good as I've been hoping it to be. Especially when you consider Season 9's first half was amazing. We didn't really have... Really, Season 9 in general was amazing. We didn't have a bad episode until Aquabob. Where Season 10, we had an extra two-month waiting period for the season to start. And it doesn't feel like it really utilized that time with these opening episodes. A bit of a side tangent, but I hope Raven vs... No, not Raven vs. Twilight... Uh, Phoenix vs. Raven ends up being a good episode, at the very least, 7 out of 10. Uh, I got nothing else to say, but, uh, oh yeah, I guess people have been, uh, there's been some people out there saying they hope Raven dies because she killed Twilight, so, <clears throat> I love the internet. 
I fucking love the internet. My Little Pony fans have apparently become a lot more toxic since Bill Cord was announced. Or at least it was more notable. So, good good God, I can't wait for Bill Cord. The episode's gonna be fun, but the waiting period will be out. Anyways, uh, I'm just stalling at this point, I guess. But, uh, peace.